Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats here. This is the third video in our three-part dashboard series. So I'll be covering the last three dashlets, but the first one is restock alerts, and it's a little bit more hefty size compared to the other two. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time on that. Let's dive right in. So we've got a pre-created dashlet here. Your product image will be here, the name of the product, the SKU, your total supply quantity, which is inventory at Amazon, plus your incoming inventory. Total supply cost, which is your total supply quantity times the price per unit that you entered into Managed by Stats. Units sold last 30 days, somewhat self-explanatory. Stock cover trailing 30 days, not self-explanatory, but it is simple. It's just how long your inventory will last based on your last 30 days of sales. Estimated restock date. Now this is based on your current sales volume, your current inventory, and it's gonna give you an estimated date that you need to order your product. Restock lead time is exactly what it sounds like. You know how long it's gonna take your manufacturer to get you your products, so you just put the number of weeks in there yourself. I'm going to cover it briefly, but there are other columns that you can add in there if you want your manufacturer in there or your brand name if you're tracking a whole bunch of products. In our next column, we have our in-stock supply costs. Now that's something I actually keep checked because I wanna know how much money I have sitting in Amazon warehouses. From there, you've got your average sales, yesterday, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, 180, and 365. Now this next one's not so self-evident. Stock cover trailing smallest. We added this as a feature to handle problems that people were having with inventory management. If you're not tracking your peaks, you can run out of inventory before you're able to get your next order of inventory in. What this tool does is it analyzes your last year of sales to find your peak average. The averages that it uses is your last day, seven day, 30 day, 90 day, 180 day, and 365 day. You now have your highest average and you already know your current inventory. It's going to give you a restock date based on that. I hope that explanation made sense to you. In a nutshell, it gives you a worst case scenario for when you need to order inventory. Let's cover this last column. Basically, you have your different intervals on stock cover trailing, your estimated restock date, Stock update date is just the last time we refreshed your inventory. I'll show you how you can manually do it right here. Let me just cancel out of this and just click that button right there and it'll refresh your inventory. And now for our last two, much simpler. And they are seller mail graph and seller mail stats. Seller mail graph is very simple in that it just shows you how many were sent out and how many were opened. And a seller mail stats just gives you the numbers rather than the graphs. As for the settings in these, you can choose to add any or all of your email rules. With that, our dashboard saga comes to an end. I hope you found it very informative. Now, don't forget, if you have a burning question in your heart of hearts, you can always reach our support team by going up to the question mark and clicking email support. All right, see you in the next video. Take care.